next guest, take care of your plumbing by day and hunt ghosts by night. They're also the stars of the popular sci-fi series Ghost Hunters. Please welcome Jason Hawes and Grant Wilson. <laughs> First of all, explain this because you you guys are you you hunt for ghosts. You're ghost hunters, but you're also you work for Roto Rooter. You're plumbers. Well, that's correct. is that right? Well, yeah, we're we're plumbers. You're plumbers. Uh, that's our trade. But we investigate claims of the paranormal. Okay. Right. There's very little ghosts involved. We don't ho hunt much. We just uh, try to help people figure out if their place is haunted or not. Okay. No. So does it happen sometimes that you're you're called for a plumbing emergency and then? It turns out that there is a paranormal experience? Yeah, it Or happens. vice versa, do you ever go looking for a paranormal experience and fix a toilet while you're there? I mean, <laughs> I'm curious how it all works. It's funny. A lot of times we have had cases where, you know, people believe that their dead Uncle Fred is flushing the toilet at 2 a.m., and you come to find out it's just a bad flapper valve in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> or the, yeah. You know, or the Which can be place. just as scary, yeah. Uh, most, most inquiries, I'm told, turn up nothing. Is that right? Over 80% right. of all cases, we believe we can disprove, yeah. So, so you're also, you're very interested in debunking. People will tell you something's going on, and you'll come and you'll sort of prove to them, no, that's just the curtain blowing, or that's, uh, that's a rat in the attic, some, some, something like that. Is well, that right? Absolutely, because we believe that it's the only way to gather true evidence and mm -hmm. uh, to help solidify things. You know what's funny is most of the times when you debunk something, it's even more funny. It's really fun. Like uh, one, one time... Uh, this lady thought that, uh, you know, she felt eyes on her all the time. She felt like she's been watched all the time. And searching the house, and we found a, uh, a stash of marijuana. And, uh, you know, there she goes right there. So. Right, right, right. <laughs> so she was just paranoid, yeah. Yeah, the eyes. <laughs> We've solved the crime. You're high. <laughs> all right, so what advice... Okay, let's say you, you think it's one of those 20% occasions where you feel that there's some paranormal activity occurring, what advice do you give people? What do you tell them? Well, it all, it yeah, all, the, no. <laughs> yeah, get out! Get out. out. <laughs> right. Um, it all depends on the, the type of case. If it's uh, what we believe to be a human type haunt or, you know, like a residual type haunt, you know what I mean? Those are different things. An intelligent type haunting is like me and you after we pass. And that's what a lot of psychics claim that they can communicate with. So a lot of times they can help get it out or the family sits around the table and talks and asks it to leave. They want their home back. If it's a residual type point, it could be tra the energy could be trapped in anything. It could be trapped in the rocks that make up the building. In anything. other words, it's tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys do use special instruments. I'm picturing Ghostbusters, but I'm told that you guys don't like the term Ghostbusters. You well, hate the term Ghostbusters. Like, Why? Because we're not going in with a Hoover strap to our back. <laughs> so you need to remember we're going in trying to. You're going in with plumbing equipment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be taken seriously. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> we're, go we're, we're pretty much, we're going in to try to see what they believe and, tr and try to put a scientific spin on it. Right, you know, right. Try to really explain it. Because there's too many things out there. There's too, you know, you can go all over the web and find pictures of dust that people are saying are orbs and it's spirit activity. And, you know, it just, it really hurts uh, the field. Yeah. Right, right. You, there, you, you say that uh, when you... You, when you encounter a paranormal, I don't know, I don't want to call it spirit or energy, that you guys sometimes believe in really confronting it. Is that oh, yeah. right? Hit it head on. Because yeah. you know what? If you're there, and even if Satan's in the house and he beats the living crud out of you, you know, if you've got a camera on it, hey. Yeah, you got it. At least we caught it on tape. But so. you need to also remember that the paranormal, you know, ghosts are totally different. It's like we caught, uh, we did a case for the Coast Guard at a Race Rock Lighthouse in Connecticut. Now, we caught a chair on camera turn and slide about two and a half feet across the floor. It was caught on camera. And was the it, lighthouse tipping over, maybe? No. Or? <laughs> no. But you know what? We did everything we could do to try to debunk that. And, uh, you know, but did I see the dead light keeper move the chair? No. A chair right. sliding by itself is paranormal. Para so, just meaning above yeah, the normal. People tend to, when they think about these kind of activities, they think of Scooby-Doo and a... Do you know what I mean? Or, or they, they think of a ghost that has a long beard that's saying, I'll no. get you, you know, and, and what you guys... <laughs> Are, are talking about is is energy or something that you can't quite explain. That's correct. It's like when you when you catch an object moving, it's you know paranormal. Para just meaning above. 
right. so above the normal of what we're used to. It's did you guys here. always believe in this, or did you come to believe it when you got more and more into it? Were you, were you, did you start out, uh, were you skeptics when you started out? Oh, I'm still a skeptic now, believing that over 80% of the cases can be disproved. But right. yeah, I had my own experience. It's just a personal experience that I had when I was about 20 that just made me understand that there was more out there. What was that? Mm, it's a personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Uh... <laughs> nice try. Uh... <laughs> All right. Um, well, this is, uh, have you, and, and you catch some stuff, on, but you, you also have experiences where people try and fool you. Is that right? Where people yeah. call you guys and say, I've caught something, and then it turns out that they've, you know, tied like some fishing line to a pillow well, or something. That's the problem doing a TV show now is that people want to be on TV, and so they'll, they'll rig things up. And we actually had someone who, uh, who built a speaker into his wall to try and get on TV. Yeah. So these ominous noises coming from one particular point in the house. But you also hard get a trick. But you also get a lot of people who believe that they have a problem, which really don't. Right. It, Most it, people are that. Most yeah. people aren't just desperate to get on television. Most people actually believe something's yes. going yeah. on. Yeah, and we did a case uh, at a little old lady's house who, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes after she invited us in because she believed she had a spirit in her home, uh, she came chasing after us with a frying pan. Yeah, she totally forgot she invited us in. I don't know. So, oh. I don't know what to say about that. But. It's just something stronger than marijuana, is it? Yeah. <laughs> or too much marijuana. Yeah, too much. It can be the same thing. Uh, Ghost Hunters airs Friday nights at 10 on Sci Fi Channel, and uh, new episodes begin in March. Guys, thanks for being here. Thanks yeah, for having pretty us. Pretty interesting. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for doing it. Jason Hawes, Grant Wilson, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. our show. Do you want to thank my guests, Jason Hawes and Grant Wilson. Thanks a lot, guys. Good luck to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Huge thanks to Jack Klugman for being here. Thank you, sir. Big thanks to Luke Wilson for being here. Max Weinberg, the Max Weinberg, 17 of the last call with Carson Daly. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.